take three hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in um, so today I will be showing you how I mix a concoction <laughs> to help me with my um, protective style challenge all right so in my previous video I mentioned that I uh, started using the sulfur 8 medicated anti-dandruff hair and scalp conditioner um, to help me with my itchy scalp I won't say that my scalp is sensitive uh, it's just that I need to at least wash it once a week or once every eight days eight to ten days um, yes yeah, so I need to train my scalp to go <laughs> go a little bit longer um, when it comes to wash days so um, uh, thus far we are in week two now thus far this is this has been working um, because my scalp doesn't itch um, that much it's just that under the braids um, sometimes itching because obviously I can't reach under the braids right um, but um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing this mixture today. Right, um, if I'm not putting on the sulfur 8 on my scalp, I'm going in with this oil mix, which contains peppermint oil, tea tree oil, and some castor oil in here. I only mixed a little, um, a little bit because I saw another lady, her name is Lauren Lee. Lauren Lee 11, I think. Yeah, she actually mixed um, mixed the products and put it in an applicator bottle like this. This can reach under your protective styles, such as braids or the areas that you can't reach with your fingers, right? So um, that's why I opted to to do it this way. Um, the only thing is that if you don't in a container, that um, you have to make it more liquidy if that is even a word yeah it has to be more in a you have to add more oil in order to make it more liquid in order for the for the product to actually come through the the nozzle right because if it's going to be too thick it won't go through and it defeats the purpose of having it in the in the um, in this bottle so um I will be using the Do Grow Hair Vitalize Omega Thick, the Sulfur 8. Um, I will be going in with some peppermint oil, tea tree oil, um, and also some castor oil. Um, because I will be doing this for the first time, I'm not gonna do it in this big. Let me just open this quickly. I'm not gonna mix a lot um, so I won't be using this I'm first gonna try and test it out so I'm going to put my so um, I'm going to put it in this small bottle yeah um, the reason being because this is trial and error and if it works then I will obviously make a bigger mix and use the bigger container or bottle whatever you want to call it okay and I will be using a spoon the spoon is clean so let's go first this actually this smells actually really nice the do grow um, mega thick the sulfur 8 people say that they don't like the smell it's not that bad but if you are really sensitive to smells then um, obviously the smell might irritate you alright so um, first up we are going in with the do grow
so what I'm gonna do is since the do grow doesn't want to mix um, well I'm gonna actually put the bottle in hot not hot warm water so that it can melt a bit and then I can mix it better so yeah um, let me just go, oops, close everything watching the video please like and share if you find this helpful and um, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video